Hi, I'm Leon and I love ocean sailing. The classic way, using a sextant. And I'll explain the principles of sight reduction. Well, all you do is using a sextant, taking the measurement, the observed altitude as it's called, the angle between a celestial object like the sun and the horizon. This is nothing else but an angle measurement instrument. So you measure the angle and note the exact time when you do that. And then you need to know roughly where you are. Well, more or less. 30 miles is quite okay. If you are uh, guessing that you're further away than maximum 30 miles, it just gets less accurate. But do it anyway. And then the next day it becomes accurate again. And accurate is just a handful of miles. So you're surprised how accurate it becomes. Then comes the tricky part. And that's the only tricky part you have. Because what you have to find out is using the almanac, the nautical almanac, to find out where there is a position on the Earth which is close to you, which is called assumed position. So you assume a position where you can find the altitude which you should measure here and you read it off the book. So the trick is to find an assumed position. When you have found an assumed position, all you have to do is look up in the sight reduction table what angle should you measure if you were there? <laughs> of course you have measured something else, otherwise it would have been easy. At least you know the difference between what you should have measured and what you did measure. And that difference gives you a distance to the assumed position. Then you know how far you are away from that assumed position. Two of those lines and you have your position. And the two lines you can be um, using two celestial objects the sun and the moon during daytime, or a planet and a star during twilight, or whatever. So two ob objects in the sky, you take the angle, you look up, and you get two lines, and that's where they cross. And if you only use the sun, <laughs> that's not a problem. So you take it in the morning, then you wait a couple of hours, you take it again, and then you get two position lines. And all you do is the first position line, you move according to the course and the distance you have traveled. Where they cross, that's where you are on this beautiful earth. And so you can sail on your own, using your own tools, your own books, in safety, comfort and style.